We know that humanity is getting sicker. I don't know if there's a direct connection or not, but it's something I want to find out. This is the shit that I do for science, literally. I think everybody has microplastics in their body. Yes. Oh, you're everybody. So like this fiber that we saw here, polyester. That is a glimpse of the new documentary, Plastic People, which uncovers microplastics in our blood, organs, even brain tissue. But what is the impact of these invisible invaders on our health? Well, good question. Award-winning science journalist Zaya Tong takes a personal approach by actually undergoing experiments and visiting scientists around the world to rethink our relationship with plastic and Zaya joins us now. It's always good to see you. Congratulations on this film. Thank you so much. It's great to see you guys as well. All right. Uh, you actually underwent experiments yourself with your own body when it comes to plastics. Uh, how shocked were you to find out how much plastic was in your body? Well, I think the thing that was even more horrifying than what came out of my body was realizing what was in my body. So in the film, for example, you know, we end up taking samples of my blood and I end up seeing other people's garbage essentially in my bloodstream, but they took a tiny sample. So they only took 2.5 milliliters. Now, if you've been cooking, you know how that's just like a few drops. In about 2.5 milliliters of blood, on average, they found about 11 microplastic particles. As adults, we have about five liters of blood circulating in our body. So <laughs> multiply that, a little bit of, you know, back, back of the handkerchief math, and you get a sense of how much microplastic actually is inside of us. Mm. We are aware plastic is all around. We're becoming, we're getting to know that it's also inside of us. Why is it that still many of us don't know the risks associated with it? Or do we not want to know those risks? I think the thing is that for the longest time, plastic was seen as an environmental problem, right? And it was, you know, we were seeing trash out in the seas. We were seeing, you know, straws up turtles' noses or what have you. But the big connection that we wanted to make in this film is to remind people that planetary health is human health. You trash the planet, you trash your own body. So this is, you know, really one of the first films to be able to show you that connection very directly. That plastic bag that is floating there out there in the sea, eventually you'll end up drinking that water. Eventually that will be part of your own system. Mm -hmm. Now I know you've said that you are more optimistic in combating the plastic crisis than you are climate, uh, the climate uh, crisis, climate change. Why is that? Well, I would say with that, it's primarily because, I mean, with our grandparents, I mean, you remember going to your grandma's kitchen or what have you, and most of the stuff that was in there wasn't plastic. I am, you know, an early person in that sort of, the beginning of the plastic generation. So I simply know that it can be done. You know, I've seen it before. My grandmother's kitchen had, whether it was ceramics or metals, we, we had to be trained to actually start to use plastics and throw things away. That's one of the things in the film. At one point, you know, people had these plastic coffee cups and, People wouldn't throw them away, they would reuse them. So it's a system of training. And so we can kind of unlearn what we've learned in a way. Mm -hmm. What was it like learning the art of directing? Because you were a <laughs> director on this yeah. film. Of course, many people know you from Daily Planet, but wearing uh, the director's hat. Yes, um, that feels, uh, I don't know, I'm a newbie director, so I had a lot to learn, but it was really, you know, a wonderful process, and being in filmmaking is really, really powerful, because you get a chance to really speak truth to power. You really get to delve deep into a story. You get to tell really long, emotional stories, and I think it has real impact. You know, one of the things about movie making, if you think of, like, you know, the superhero movies, the Marvel movies, those are all films about saving the world, but documentaries are the real world version of saving the world, right? Real heroes, real impact, real change, real solutions. So uh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Well, you have jokingly called this documentary, I know, the Barbie horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope it is that people are going to take away after seeing this film? Well, kind of like the Barbie house, right? There's so many things in our Barbie house that we can change. And uh, I, you know, one of the first things that I threw out actually was my chopping board uh, because I started realizing I had a plastic chopping board and I was just sort of grinding plastic into all of my food. So that was one small thing that you can change. And there's lots of things that we talk about uh, in the documentary as well as 
plasticpeopledoc.com if people come to our website. We have an impact campaign that goes along with the film. So people can learn some tips and tricks along the way, hopefully, to uh, reduce plastic in their life. Well, I know what I'm doing after the show. Uh, buying a new chopping board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for more information, I'm going to tell you the website again. Uh, to watch Plastic People in Canada, visit plasticpeople.doc.com. Com. Yes. So good scene. Thank you. And just one last reminder, yes. it's going to be at Hot Docs June 1st and June 11th for folks in Toronto. All right. All right. Fantastic. Zaya, thanks again. Appreciate it. Thank you.